Guys, we are going to be heading up to northern Arizona for my first camping trip in many years. I'm going to be sleeping out of the back of the 4Runner. I will be setting up a tent for all of my gear. And we're going to stay up there for about two to three days. I'm not sure yet. The temperature will be a high in the uh, 70s and low in the 50s. So that's what I'm packing for. I want to take you inside the house and show you my packing setup and what kind of gear I'm bringing with me. Since this will be my first time packing in this way, I'm sure I'm going to learn a lot when I get up there and start going through all of the things that I've brought and see what I need and what I didn't need. So let's go inside and uh, check out my setup. This is my basic setup. I do have a few more items in the Forerunner uh, recovery gear and tables, uh, tent and things like that. But this is the core but foundation of my setup. So I, for my power station, I'm using the Jackery 500 with the uh, 100, I think it's 100 or 120 watt solar panel. And then this is a Bouge RV uh, refrigerator that's going to be powered by the Jackery. And it's got the insulation jacket on it. This is the smaller uh, refrigerator. I think it's 32 liter. I have a 50 liter ice co for longer trips. This is only like a two, three day trip. I uh, pack my clothes and my toiletries in a small bag. Uh, this is my backpack and I have a lot of my survival gear, knives, um, fire starters, uh, things like that in there. Uh, I also carry my uh, pistol in there uh, for safety and, and then I carry four 17 gallon bins. These are actually bins that I got from Home Depot and I am using these on the recommendation of one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Suburban Camping. I'll actually put a link to him below. I've learned a lot from him and both from the uh, Grumpy Gobbler as well. So I just want to show you what's in these bins to give you a basic idea of how I pack for a uh, two to three day camping trip. I have not labeled the bins yet, but that is on my to-do list uh, just so it's easier to navigate when I'm on, when I'm on the site. So this, I have two uh, bins for the kitchen and then two bins that are used for um, electronics, uh, cords, and then for um, the privacy tent uh, items as well. So let's get into the first kitchen bin here. Number one, I have, uh, I keep rubber gloves in here. I'm probably gonna change that so I can see where they are because I always get mixed up with other packaging. Um, These are my plates, plasticware, um, different size plates. And then I keep some silverware in there as well. Um, just a mixing bowl that I use for like my oatmeal in the morning. Uh, I do have my uh, butane uh, propane mix that I use with this uh, portable, some people call it a, like a jet boil, but it's like a portable mini stove. Uh, and I'll show you that in a video as well um, as I'm camping, how I set that up. Uh, dish towel. I do have my cooking oil and my bourbon in the flask. So we have some uh, bowls. This is my coffee French press and Ziploc bags. These are smaller ones. I do have larger ones I bring as well. Um, these are solo stove uh, pots for boiling water. And I have my coffee cup with the coffee grounds in my spoon. Uh, trash bags. I do have a hot and cold thermos. This is my propane for my Coleman stove. Uh, cups, disposable cups of all kinds, and this is another um, Stanley um, container that I use to boil water. And then I have my knife kit and plastic spatula. And then inside this kit right here is uh, all my uh, salt, pepper, cooking uh, utensils as well. I'll show you a quick peek in there. In that first bag, I have, um, this is the salt and pepper. It's a whole little kit that I have. Uh, my tongs, which I use quite often, and then different types of flat spatulas that you can use for flipping fish and things like that. Um, sponges for cleaning the pots up, multi-tool 
uh, portable funnel or collapsible funnel I should say that's the mainstay of this one I have a can opener um, and I also have a few other can openers that I carry I'll show you the knife bag that I have this is inside my knife bag I have another set of tongs this is my pit mitt that I use when I'm cooking over an open flame it protects the hands uh, I have my Gerber um, knife this is mainly actually for outdoor use uh, with a pocket knife and then I have um, a couple sets of knives there and a cooking fork and then underneath this panel right here I have a number of other knives I know it's overkill but I do enjoy cooking and I want to make sure that I'm always prepared uh, in that sense as far as having the right um, cooking ware and cutlery all right, we'll take a look inside kitchen bin number two and give you an idea what I do here. So these, I have the larger Ziploc bags. The other bin was the smaller ones. This is actually a portable shower kit with a rechargeable cordless pump. You can drop into water um, and it puts out quite a good amount of volume uh, through the shower head here. So. Uh, this is just a snack bag, all dry snacks with uh, nuts, chips, pretzels. I actually have my um, my uh, dried foods and a few other items in there. My pan for cooking. This is my nonstick pan that I love. Uh, my all-time favorite pan. And I do just about all my cooking on there. And here is a collapsible um four gallon pail and then i have a collapsible uh three gallon pail underneath here is a collapsible cutting board and portable sink and then i keep my vitamin supplements some more dry food here that I can just easily add water to to make a quick meal i have my spices here that i use salt and pepper is in the other bin and then some additional trash bags all right, let's take a look inside the next two bins here. So, not so glamorous, but the portable uh, toilet gets packed away nicely in there. And then in here I have, um, these are just like roasting forks for like s'mores or just snacks over the fire. Um, I have my... Uh, knives that I use. These are fixed blade knives, uh, two of the same. And then I also have insect repellent and the other um, sprays that I use are in here. First aid kit. I have my um, fire spray in case there's a fire. It's like a little extinguisher. Uh, this one is a extra blanket and it has a button that you can button around you to use as like a um, like a cloak type deal. Uh, sunscreen and my daughter gave me these uh, mosquito repellent bracelets they actually work quite good they're with citronella so additional baseball hat which probably should be in my uh, luggage but that is my outdoor bin number one and outdoor bin number two so this is the fourth and final bin in here I have uh, two fans these are both USB operated and they can operate all, pretty much all night with the power sources that I have. So this one's the larger one which I use mainly. Um, this one I haven't even used yet, but it's a, it sticks onto the window, a smaller fan. So you can kind of get a good angle on that when you're sleeping in the back. I have these three lanterns right here. These are lifesavers. Uh, I bring them everywhere and I'll show you. You just pop them up. You just pull on these two handles here and pull it up and then you can adjust the light. So I press it down, it has nice LED lights and it does light up quite a nice area and you can just lower it to dim it and then boop, it's off. So I carry three of those, extra propane tank there. Um, this is another hose that I use that I can actually cook on my Coleman grill, instead of using these, I can use a five gallon straight to the Coleman grill. Um, and these in here is my battery jumper. So you don't need jumper cables. That'll actually jump the battery quite efficiently. I've used it several times. Uh, I have um, my Ryobi cordless USB charger. Never had to use it, but it's always a backup. 
uh, extension cord and underneath here is a uh, power strip here is a power strip right here so that's more mainly my electronics and lighting bin that I use I'm gonna take you out to the garage fast here let's see if we can get some light so on the forerunner on the two top storage bins that's all my recovery gear um, and also my Coleman grill stays up there I have the awning which I deploy and that's where I spend a lot of my time underneath and then on the back here are the two two gallon rota packs full of gas so I have an extra four gallons of gas if I need it in addition to those items in the bins I have the tire table that I actually hook on to the back tire and then I have a portable table that I fold out and that's where I eat and actually cook a lot of my meals and then I also have my scepter military uh, water jugs oh, I have them over here uh, those are getting ready to get filled up so I'll have about 10 gallons of water uh, if necessary and then I have a spigot where I can dispense the water from this is my dog shadow he's gonna help pack up right shadow yeah, sure. all right mama he's a good boy he's a good boy he's not good enough to take on camping trips though but maybe one day Stay tuned guys, later this week I will put out a video of my camping trip up to Stoneman Lake, Arizona. Uh, it will include the one huge mistake that I made as well as my camp setup and uh, cooking details and all things like that. So thanks for watching and hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos like this. Have a good day.